the saints, when the saints go marching in, go marching in. Now when the saints go marching in. in. That's the Louis Armstrong we know, the American jazz singer and trumpeter performing one of his signature songs. From his first recordings in the early 1920s to his death in 1971 in Queens, Armstrong, known as Satchmo, played the world. The Armstrong we don't know is being played out right now in a new off-Broadway play called Satchmo at the Waldorf. Watch. I'm 70 years old and here I am at the Waldorf Astoria. How'd I get so lucky? <laughs> I got stories on top of stories. I used to work for Al Capone. He walked right up to me and he said, boy, you playing in New York tomorrow night, you hear? Actor John Douglas Thompson in the one-man bio play at the West Side Theater, Manhattan. John joins us now with the playwright, Terry Teachow. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks Thank for having you. us. You're welcome. John, what an honor to play this icon and what a challenge. Yes, quite a challenge. Uh, it was funny after watching uh, Armstrong and myself on the screen. Uh, but, you know, I think the, the way I've tried to approach playing it has been really trying to use Terry's words and, and bring forth this Armstrong that we don't really know much about, as you said earlier in the interview. So it gives me a lot of ground to cover a, a more personal Armstrong. I never wanted him to just do a straight imitation. That no. doesn't work. I wanted him to make Armstrong out of himself. You know him, Terry, from your work, one of the biographers right. of Louis Armstrong. And let's just be clear, it's not Louis. We all have been saying Louis, but it's Louis. It's Louis, as explained in the, in the play. play. As explained Louis. in the play. How to do a play 90 minutes about this man? What kind of challenge was that for you to show this other side of well, him. Well, you just, you know, in writing a play, the first thing you have to decide is when does it start? Mm. And this play is set at Armstrong's last gig three months before his death in 1971. He's backstage in his dressing room at the Waldorf Astoria here in New York. And he's thinking about what happened and why. And that's when the action starts. So that's how you know how short it's going to be. This song we're seeing him play now, Terry. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we know the musical side was such a big deal for him. He also worked in film. But let's talk about what we, we don't know. A lot of, nobody knows the trouble I've seen, the struggles inside that are exposed in this play. Well, the public Armstrong is real. He was, I think, a fundamentally happy, optimistic man, but he wasn't a fool. He knew the score. He'd grown up in the roughest part of New Orleans and born in 1901. His mother was a prostitute. And the Armstrong we show you in this play is a guy who can talk in a very, very tough way. A lot, there are a lot of, this is not for children. No. It's absolutely not for children. <laughs> it, he can talk in a very frank way about what he saw and knew as a black man in America. We also learn his pain. He felt the black audience left him. That's right. And this happened to most jazz musicians after World War II, but it was especially tough on him because he had been, in the first half of the century, this great symbol of racial pride in America. And then suddenly his audience, they want to hear rhythm and blues, they want to hear a bebop, other kinds of music, and his audience becomes a white audience. And he's grateful, I mean, he loves his white audience, but he's troubled by the fact that his own people have left him behind, and that's part of the play. And John you also one man play but more than one character so you yes. are portraying Mr. Armstrong yes. but also his his manager his Chicago. manager Joe Glazer he had a, a, a white Jewish manager named Joe Glazer who was kind of like a mobster and he was his manager for what, 40 years 40 years. 40 years so I play him as well and I also play Miles Davis the future well, the future, but the main detractor from Armstrong, who mm -hmm. really attacked Armstrong on the whole thing that we're talking about, the Uncle Tom thing, uh, not being really a big uh, participant in the civil rights movement, not really speaking up, and not really acting the way that Miles Davis thought he should have. And John switches between these characters the vocals, right on the dime. Right? It's unbelievable what he does. I can say that. You, well, you'll never you. say it. <laughs> but I'll never say it about what's, myself. What's no. going on in your head then, John? Well, actually, the way that was one of the things that really inspired me to do the play 
play was, you know, as an actor, you want to find something to do like a one-person play. And it's really intriguing when you get to play more than one character in that one-person play. So for me, they're all very distinct. So I wanted to get a distinct voice and physicality for Armstrong, a distinct voice and physicality for Glazer, and a distinct voice and physicality for Miles Davis. And it, uh, the play allows me to go back and forth, back and forth amongst hmm. the three characters. And the audience is, is so enriched by all of it. Terry, I have to ask you, as the Wall Street Journal's drama critic, critic you're wearing more than one hat. Uh, does that make your writing better because you're criticizing yourself? Oh, I don't. I mean, I've, I, obviously, I'm not reviewing my own play. <laughs> but, uh, what if you did? <laughs> I give yeah, it two very enthusiastic do? thumbs up. And what about the actor? <laughs> the actor will do. <laughs> I have learned so much about the process of bringing a show to the stage. I've learned this play is directed by Gordon Edelstein, one of the best directors in America, yeah. and I've learned so much about what a director does because you know it's not like a conductor of an orchestra he's not standing out there wagging a stick um, I've seen how you get it up there on the stage and if you don't learn from that you're not paying attention thank you so much for joining us and uh, enlightening us about Louis Armstrong you can see Satchmo at the Waldorf at the Westside Theater upstairs it's on West 43rd Street back to you